Okay, you've already got a sneak peek of tonight's lesson. So uh, thanks for tuning in and do watch it all the way to the end um, so you can do really well in your daily quiz on Monday. Um, but this is lesson 6-4 and it's using cross products, okay? And we've already got a sneak peek of this. Um, really, if you looked in your book, in lesson 6-3, they mostly did the arrow method of solving and dealing with proportions. Um, today, we're just gonna focus on just focusing on cross products. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and take a look at a proportion. Um, this is a proportion because it's two fractions or two ratios equal to each other. Uh, and as always, uh, in a proportion like this, we're looking to solve the proportion, okay? Which means we want to find out what is x, what is the value of x that will make this uh, proportion, this equation of two ratios, e equal. And what we're going to do when we cross multiply uh, or do cross products is what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the diagonal things together. So I'm going to do two different colors here. So first I'm going to multiply the 4 and the x together, and it doesn't matter what order I do this in, but I'm going to start with the blue. So I'm going to multiply 4 times x, which is 4 dot x, or just 4x. Okay? And that's going to equal, now go ahead and multiply the other diagonal, the 3 times 20 together, and again, I'm just going to put 3 times 20. I know that's 60, but you'll see it's actually easier to just leave it as 3 dot 20. Okay, that is, those are the cross products. 4x is one cross products because it's the diagonal. It's basically cross means diagonal. So it's the product of the things that are diagonal in the proportion. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now, to solve this, to finish this, we're not solved because we still don't know what x is. So we have to get rid of that 4. So 4 times x, the opposite of multiplying by 4, is to divide by 4. And if I do it on this side, it'll cancel out nicely, but I've also got to do it on this side. So over here I get x. Uh, and the 4 and the 20 are going to cancel out nicely, and I get 1 and 5. And 3 times 5 is equal to 15 over 1, which is just 15. All right? So that's how you solve a, a cross product. All right? Uh, another name for this is cross, multiply, and divide. Okay? And so, again, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 84 times the x and the 36 times the 7. And then we're going to divide both sides by the, by the uh, number that was with the x. We're going to get a nice little canceling over here. I kind of ran out of room, so we'll put the answer over here. So I get x on the left. Over here on the, on the right side, I've got a couple of people that just walked into my room. Can you guys find anything in this multiplication and division that would cancel? Um, 36, 7, and 84. Well, they're both even. Okay, good. I see two evens there. Good. I'm okay. Jake. This is Jake, I'm so Trent. good job. Okay, guys. Brian. Focus on what we're doing here. Okay, so I get 18 and 42. What about 7 and 42? 42, okay. they're both divisible six. by 7. Six. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be 1 and it'll be 6. And so I get 18 over 6. And I can reduce that down further, or I could just realize that 18 divided by 6 is 3. And sure enough, that is the correct answer. Apologies for all that noise. I had an advisor group come in while I was recording the video. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off. Um, and so once again, showing the work, um, when you set up the x um, in this step right here, notice that you're cross-multiplying. That's the step right here. That's really the top line. 84x equals 36.7. Then the next thing, so that's the first step, and then the next step is that you divide. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and take these two proportions, and I'd like you to try these on your own. Um, please um, pause the video in just a moment and solve these, and then when you've got your answer, first of all, double-check that your answer makes sense, and then come back and uh, see if you agree with what I did. Pause now. All right, welcome back. All right, so um, what I would do on both of these is I would cross-multiply. That's what we're practicing today. Um, you might have noticed that 6 over 8 would have reduced to 3 over 4. If you did notice that, you might have been able to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, but let's just go ahead and cross-multiply. We'll, cross, we'll, we'll still get to do that canceling stuff in a second. All right, so the cross-multiply step is 8 times h. That would be these, this diagonal, those cross-products. Um, and that's going to equal these guys here, which is 6 times 20. So now let's do the next step, which is divide both sides by 8 to get h by itself. And once again, remember I said we'll get to that, div that simplification c right here. You can still reduce the 6 and the 8. So this becomes 3, and this becomes 4. And now I think you should probably see another cancellation. See the 20 and the 4? They are both divisible by 4, so you get 5 and you get 1. So on the top, you get a 3 and a 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Divided by 1 is 15, and that's the answer, okay? So 6 over 8 is equal to 15 over 20, and that makes sense because both of those ratios are going to reduce to 3 fourths.
Okay. On the second one, I'm going to do this a little faster. You should have got 8t is equal to 2.20. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 8. Cross multiply, or sorry, cross multiply, we did. And now divide um, both sides by 8 to get t by itself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel a little bit over here. So let's take a 4 out. If I do, 8 will become 2, and 20 will become 5. And then I can cancel the 2s. And so I get t equals 5. Okay. And sure enough, 2 over 8 is equal to 5 over 20. And again, that makes sense because both of those reduce to 1 fourth. So hopefully you got 15 and 5. If you did, you're well on your way um, to solving proportions with cross multiplication. Okay? All right. Um, now, um, both of those problems had a missing um, number, a variable that we're trying to figure out, but we can also use um, this idea of cross multiplying, cross products, to just check um, to see if these fractions are equal. And we actually did this earlier this year. We called this the crisscross method. So if I multiply 7 times 30, I get 210. If I multiply 14 times 10, I get 140. Um, and so is it a proportion? And clearly in this case, the answer is no. Um, and then when we did these earlier, when we were comparing fractions, we would have said the first fraction is less than the second fraction. In fact, that was the whole reason when we did the crisscross before. We went up instead of down. All right. Um, so um, I believe that is it for tonight. So, um, hopefully uh, this continued what we already talked about with cross multiplying and dividing, and you will be ready to practice these in class on Monday. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, um, and uh, we'll finish with a big smiley face because it is the weekend, um, and so enjoy what's left of it, and I will see you in class on Monday. Bye.